Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, this isn't the video I had planned for shooting this week, but life happens and um, so this is the video I am filming. Um, it's been a pretty stressful week and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys, uh, put on my makeup because putting on my makeup makes me kind of this kind of my escape um give you guys a little bit of, of of an update of what's going on and um we'll uh just yeah put on makeup and talk about what's going on in my life so got my coffee um and i do have some new makeup so um i've already tried most of it but it's new i haven't tried it on camera um, so first thing I'm going to do is, um, go in with this is, um, it's the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. It's a setting mist, but I like to use it before I put on my makeup too, because the mist is so fine. I just love it. And it smells like the beach. It's a coconut smell. Um, so... I may not mention everything that I'm, I'm uh, using because um, I really just kind of want to give you guys an update what's going on and um, just kind of talk, talk it out um, just because it's been, it's been a week. So, all right. Um, so now I'm just going to go in with a little bit of primer. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer um, that I tried um, in my Sephora haul and um, I realized that it wasn't shake, uh, it hadn't been shaken because it was really like liquidy whenever I first used it in that haul. So it needed to be, sh the bottle I guess needed to be shook up some because I've been using it a couple of times since then and my makeup has looked so good. Although, I have changed my skincare too, so if you guys feel like you want to see a video on my new um, skincare routine, let me know because I feel like it has really helped my skin so much. Like, this right here is just hormonal. I've been getting, like, I usually get breakouts like on my cheeks, on my forehead, everywhere, but here lately, it's just been like hormonal on my um, chin, so... Let me know if you want that video because I really like my new skincare routine. Um, so, my week. Um, so, Wednesday night, Hayden came home and didn't want to go to church because he said he didn't feel good. Well, he had a fever of 103. And... Uh, he continued to have a fever and it was very hard to break. We tried Motrin or ibuprofen. We tried um, Tylenol. We were switching both of them and it wasn't breaking. It finally broke early in the morning. And then I think around lunchtime Thursday it came back. And then let's see Thursday it came back. We did the same, you know, routine trying to break it. It was hard to break again. So, come Friday, he still had a fever. So, we took him to the doctor. They swabbed him for strep and flu. And guess what? He had the flu. Now, Hayden, if, if you guys don't know, um, Hayden is my 15-year-old. And so, yeah, he, he had the flu. So, now, Hanley, my three-year-old, and again, if you're not familiar with um, my channel or anything, Hanley um, has been diagnosed with seizures and he's developmentally delayed. Um, and if he gets the slightest fever, he has terrible, terrible seizures. They're a big trigger for his seizures. So, from Wednesday, when Hayden said he didn't feel good, we sent Hanley to my mother-in-law's and she kept him. So, um, so she had Hanley. Um, well, let's see, what day was it? Saturday. 
she um, calls me and says, Hanley has a fever. And I'm like, great. Um, he probably has the flu. So I told her to meet me at our, our uh, immediate care. Um, and we will go ahead and get him swabbed. Well, they were closed. So today is Sunday when I'm filming this. The immediate care is open today, and I already have him in a point, uh, they have where you can, um, go ahead and save your spot online, so I went ahead and did that, and so at 2 o'clock today, we are headed to get Hanley swabbed for the flu. I pray it's not the flu, but I have a feeling it's the flu, because... I mean, what else could it be? Now, and you can get the flu before you start showing symptoms. And even so, even though Hayden didn't start showing his symptoms until Wednesday, he more than likely had the flu Tuesday. Hanley was around Hayden Tuesday. So, and then Hanley's symptoms didn't start showing until um, Saturday. So, it's crazy. Um, but now I'm not, I haven't, we haven't gotten Hanley swabbed for the flu yet, but I mean, it's just kind of, and it's highly contagious, so, um, we shall see. So, it's been a very stressful week, been having to work and then come home, which, God, thank God I have Lance, I don't, kudos to single moms so much because I don't know how you do it like huge oh and this and this is new sorry side note this is new this is my um Tati Beauty Blendiful and I love it I don't know if it's that primer or this Blendiful or what but between the two my makeup and well I guess and my skin routine but my makeup has been looking so good um, so back to our story. I don't even remember where I was. Oh, but yeah, I've been coming home and, um, let's see, I've been off since Friday. So me and Lance has kind of been rotating it, but we have to check Hayden's fever, make sure, you know, he's getting his medicine. He got put on the Tamiflu, which the doctor said, you know, it, it is best for if it's within the 48 hours which i think we did um pretty much get hayden within the 48 hours and which i don't know if he had it since tuesday it might have been past the 48 hours so but anyway he's on tamiflu been rotating because he still has a fever although it's not as um hard to break anymore because he let's see yesterday I gave him ibuprofen yesterday at like 5 and I didn't have to give him anything else until I think it was like at 5 this morning I think because then and then he got sweaty and broke his fever so and he's good again he's 98 so let me see actually I can tell you because I text my mother-in-law because Hanley's was 101. Now, Hanley's fever is not hard to break. Like, his broke last night at 11, and um, she didn't have to give him anything else again until 10 this morning. That was when, it, and, then, and then his only spiked to 101. His didn't spike as high as Hayden's, so we'll see. I don't know. So, but anyway, it's been very stressful, as you can tell. That is why I wanted to just sit down, play with makeup, and talk to you guys. Um, I feel like y'all are my friends. Some of you probably know me personally, so you've probably heard me talking about this. <laughs> um, okay, so Hayden, I gave him something at 5, and then his temp spiked back up last night at 1, and I had to give him some more ibuprofen then but it's broke now so that's good and it is what time is it now 10 so we will pray it stays down okay so and then I'm just gonna go in with one more layer of foundation 
I love this blend of color because it makes your application for your foundation so quick because I, I blend all of my um, foundation and I'm like, dang, that took like half the time. It's just so bada bing bada boom. And I am shooting in front of a window and the sun just came out like super, super bright. So I look so pale. My, so my tan has definitely faded. All right, I gotta finish using the rest of this that I pumped out. All right, now let's go on the concealer. Or you know what, let's do a little bit of, I'm gonna do some, well, I guess we can just do the concealer first. And so this is new too. This is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This is not as full coverage like as my Benefit Boing Concealer, but I do like it. And then I did do some color correction before I started with, um, foundation and stuff too so hopefully I don't have to cover up darkness as much with the concealer but so yeah you guys can see oh my gosh this is so bright I look white in the viewfinder um so yeah you can see why this has been a stressful week for me um we don't have confirmation yet that Hanley has the flu but two kids sick is very very stressful and for a minute I was really concerned about Hayden with his temperature and but I think yesterday was definitely his best day because he actually got up and used his phone and y'all for him to not use his phone you know he's sick but he had not touched his phone in two days um so I knew he was definitely sick and it really was worrying me because all he did was sleep which I mean I know when you're sick that's good for you is your rest I mean I am a nurse so but with his fever and all I was just so scared he was gonna get dehydrated he was drinking a lot of fluids of course I made sure he did and even with Hanley being at my mother-in-law's you know I was like constantly checking on or I still am constantly checking on him I mean I'm going to the doctor's office with him in a little bit so if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll make sure to keep you guys posted on how Hanley is, which by the time I edit this video, I'll, it'll probably already be done. I've already, you know, by the time I edit it and stuff, we'll have already known. But in any case, I have two boys that are sick and I'm their mom. So of course I'm worried. And with Hanley, you know, he just, when he has a fever, his seizures are just back to back. So you have to keep his fever under control. It's like, do I let his fever go so he doesn't, you know, so his body can fight the infection? Or do I give him, you know, something to to take the seizure, the, the fever away so he doesn't have seizures? And I always go for give him something to take away the seizures because, of course, I'm not watching him have seizures back to back. All right, so I'm going to contour a little bit with my Makeup Revolution foundation stick. Yep, it's just been stressful. And, I mean, with me going to work, I know how sick people are right now, you know? And it terrifies me. So, my nursing advice to you is make sure you wash your hands. Wash your hands. Especially in public, you guys. Just make sure you're washing your hands. Sickness is going around right now so bad. And I'm constantly telling Hayden, make sure you wash your hands, make sure, which, you know, I have a feeling it probably came from school. There's no telling. But just keep us in your thoughts and hopefully we'll get through this. I'm sure we will. We've gotten through a lot, so. I've been liking to, um, another side note here. I've been liking putting some contour under my lip here to give it a little shadow to make it appear like I've got fuller lips and this blendable is so good to use you guys I like and I'll even use the same side for everything foundation concealer and contour I just use the same side I don't know I know you're not like like I'm pretty sure they show you to just use a corner for each thing but I don't know it's been working so I've just been keep doing that and I really like that pretty fresh concealer not because it's more coverage which I've already told you but it's because like it just it does a really good job of just giving me 
a really clean look like with my lines and stuff like I don't even have to set it very much I will go in slightly with the um, setting powder just so that it doesn't you know hopefully move throughout the day but I don't set it very much so I really like that about it now I am going to take a clean part of it and just kind of bounce all over uh, bounce all over everywhere bounce all over my face on the clean side to just make sure everything is kind of seamlessly blended together but this is my base so now I'm going to oh you guys I was gonna pull my hair back and I never did oh and this t-shirt you guys is like this I just got this from Target for a like a dollar seventy was the price on it and it is the most comfortable t-shirt I have ever owned it is so soft it was on the clearance rack and I was like uh yes please all right so let's take a little bit just a little bit of setting powder and I'm gonna set under the eyes first very very lightly on my brush that I want to use because oh what am I doing I'm gonna use my Tati and then just a little bit on there I'm not the greatest person I'm not the greatest at baking so don't come at me if I'm doing this wrong I'm still learning you guys daily I learn new techniques and routines all the time on makeup it's fascinating it's like nursing that's why I love nursing is because you learn something new every day in nursing in the medical field there's always new research and stuff it's very amazing and it's kind of like that with makeup like there's all these new techniques new things that they come out with to, um, you know with better ways to do your makeup so I like that alright now let's go ahead and move on to eyes and brows um, let's see here's that where is my I've been really liking my brows like very kind of um, what do you call it uh, like feathery and that's like so I still haven't went and did anything with them but that's because I've been liking the way they just kind of look feathery and they're very sparse on the outsides anyway so I've been just filling them in um, so this is the covergirl easy breezy brow I had my brow pencil but I don't know where it went so I just went in like this yesterday and I liked it so we'll just do it like that again just running this through my brows and just giving them a like feathery look and then they're tinted with the um, with the brow gel and then this cover girl uh, will sure enough hold them bad boys in place if you see me doing my last video or one of my videos recently where I tested out the beauty gurus favorites I used this and I was mentioning how it just locks them in place it's like really hairspray hairspray for your brows see the difference wow another um, thing I'm still not an expert for sure on is brows though I'm still learning so much about how to do my brows all right what do we want to do next we're going to do eyeshadow um so I just signed up this month January for um <coughs> excuse me for boxycharm and this is a palette that came in with it it's the ace Butte, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but these are the eyeshadows in it. I figured I would use some of these today. Some of these I'm not like, like some of these I'm not very, very sure if they're ever gonna go in my eyes. But we're gonna try some of them, and then I'm gonna use my Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette because there's not any transition shades in this palette. So I'm gonna get some transition shades and stuff to start with in my nudie patootie palette um so we're gonna start going all over the lid 
there. It takes me five million years just to get a big blending brush. There we go. So I'm going to go in with Streaking from the Nudie Patootie palette. And let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can see how I do my... Alright, you're zoomed in. So, up close and personal. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead. I don't want to leave this um, bake on. I'm going to go ahead and dust that off. Alright, now let's go in with Streaking from the Nudie Patootie palette. Now... <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go in with a more tapered brush and I'm going to go into, I'm going to go in first with Pyramid, no, Grand Canyon. I'm, no, yeah, I'm going with very lightly with Grand Canyon first. Although these, I've already tried these out, they're very pigmented. So, so. Yeah, that's it, you guys. That's what's going on in our life right now. Blue season. Doctoring my kids. Praying we don't get it. I've bleached the entire house. Everything. I bleached all of the toys. Uh, every time Hayden uses his bathroom, I bleach it. <laughs> like, I'm just being as thorough and being a nurse like I know like I leave the bleach on for five minutes before I even wipe it off you know I've been soaking Hanley's toys in half bleach and half water um I mean my countertops have been like I took everything off and soaked everything on the countertops with bleach it's been a working process but I did it and I'm wore out and I needed to play with makeup. Poor Hayden though, he's just... Like those two days y'all, it really wiped him out. It was... I know he's 15 and... But they're still your baby. You know what I mean? Moms, you know what I mean? I don't care if he's 25 and he's sick. It worries me, you know? So, the boy wanted brownies last night. I baked him brownies, then he said he didn't want it. But you know what? I didn't care. I did it. He wanted soup. I got him soup. He did eat his soup. You know, that's one good thing. His appetite is still there. Like, he's still been eating, so that's good. And Hanley's still eating, too. My mother-in-law said he ate really good last night, so that's good. I'm glad they're, like, still eating and drinking, you know, even though they're both sick. At least, you know... Cause that make you even more worried if they stop eating and stuff so all right next gonna get even more tapered brush and we're gonna do this shade here it's pyramid a little deeper shade to just go out in on the outer corner stamp that but yeah and Lance has been amazing. I mean, like Wednesday night, Wednesday night and Thursday night, I worked and Lance was in there with Hayden, making sure he still was, ch like he was up all night long with Hayden and I had no worries, you know, like, so it was just, and I didn't have to call out of work because Lance was here with him and doing an amazing dad job look how these are such pigmented shades i'm just gonna um finish in this eye you guys so i'll do this side off camera to kind of save us some time because i don't even know i've been talking to you guys about hayden and stuff i don't even know how long i've been jibber jabbering i don't know if that's a southern word or not but that means talking a lot about nothing i didn't try this shade yesterday i might try this shade today Ooh, I don't know. Let me look. I'm gonna swatch it a little bit more. This is um, this is the shade Sun. Ooh, that's bright. That's a bright yellow. I don't think I want that on my eye. Not today. I mean, that would look really. It's very creamy. That's a very creamy eyeshadow. Um, but I just don't think it would look good with the oil. <laughs> it was just a napkin um 
Alright, so I guess I'm going to make it just a deep, dark look. Um, Alright, so we're going to go in with the shade Golden Hour. It's a like shimmery, orangey shade here. It's pretty, very pretty. And I think it definitely ties in with the way I did my, the rest of my eye. What is blinding? Let's see if I can adjust this guy so the sun is not blinding us. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be possible. I think it's just the way it is. All right. Let's find what brush I'm going to apply that with. And I did find that these apply better if you spray a little setting spray on them. Just a little bit. And now we're going to apply that to most of the lid. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see. That's very, very pretty. Alright, now for eyeliner. Um, where's my eyeliner? Where's my eyeliner? Alright. I have to concentrate, so B R B. <laughs> okay, that's a little baby wing. Um, mascara. I got a new collab. Um, in case you guys wanted to um, pick it up. Oh, that's not in focus. But it's the Wow Effect. The Works Wow Effect All in One Mascara. This is the one to get. This is the one to get an ex extreme black. I got a new one. The other one was drying out, so it was time to retire it. Oh my gosh, I just love this so much that I don't even, like, I was going to put on false lashes, but now I don't even want to. Guys, just look at that. I just love this mascara so much. And that's one stinking coat. Oh shoot, I didn't do my bottom lash with eyeshadow. Ding dong. Let's just do a little bit. We'll just run a little bit of um, that Grand Canyon shade. All right, I'm going to go off uh, camera real quick and just do the other eye and be back and we'll do uh, blush, bronzer, and highlight. So be right back. All right, so eyes are done. We can get on to the rest of the makeup. I should have put on chapstick. I always forget before I do my makeup. I don't know why. Um, so uh, the next thing I'm going to go in with is bronzer. I'm going to attempt to use the one out of the... Um, Boxy charm that I got. This is from Wonder Beauty Trip for Two Brush and Bronzer Duo. This bronzer is very light, but I'm gonna attempt to use it. It seemed to look okay with my um, cream contour. It seemed to be all right yesterday when I tried it. For, I tried it yesterday for the first time, so I'm gonna dip into that and try and just as bare as I am right now with no self tanner on and winter it's actually okay right now now if I self tan probably won't look as good but for now especially since I cream contour underneath it looks all right takes a lot of it though all right that's the bronzer so now let's go on to the blush the bronzer shade is called Costa Ray and the Blush is Bellini, and I really like the blush because it's uh, very subtle, and I like a subtle blush. I don't like a very, usually I don't really like a very pigmented blush. And then I'm just going to diffuse those together a little bit with my, uh, what do you call this brush? I don't know what it's called, but it's the one with the little, I forget what it's called. <laughs> but anyway, it'll just help blend. Hold on, you guys. That's my mother-in-law. Hello? Yes. Do I need to... Do we need to go to the emergency room? Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, my gosh. But you got his seizure medicine in him? I think we need... I want to go out there. Hey, bud. Hey, mommy. Hey, mommy. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I'll I'm, I'll call you back. Okay. I love you, man. <laughs> mommy just wants to hold you. Give mommy a kiss. Yeah, kiss. <laughs> Give mommy a kiss. Mm. <laughs> Say bye bye. Cause it. it. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>